everybody, Greg here from Two Old Guys with Crossbows. In today's video, um, I'm going to show you how to make some shooting bags or shooting rests for your gun while you're shooting. Bean bags. Cheap and easy. I went out looking for some of these at the store. I thought, well, I usually just use a sandbag. And then I went out to the store looking at these. And, and the cheapest ones I found were like $40 for four ba bean bags. You know, like $10 a bag, and I went, yeah, I'm not paying that. Like I always said, hunting doesn't have to be expensive. It's just, I will end up putting in a little bit of work to get what you want. This one here, I have stuffed with just some of my bait corn. This is the whole corn, the dry stuff, put out for bait. I use that to fill the bag. Um, I In the video, you will see I used a uh, bag of navy beans. Those white navy beans I bought them, they come in a nice uniform package, they're about this size. And uh, so I thought you might be able to, it might be easier for you to pick them up. This feed corn I pick up 20 kilos it for 10 bucks. So it's very inexpensive. All you need is a pair of old jeans, cut a piece of the leg off, do some stitching, sewing, fill her up. Makes a great rest for setting your bag on. You can also turn it sideways, put another bag up against it here, and if you want, put a, a zip tie around here, around the two of them, and then you have your little V spot for as the bags stand up, like so. But I like to welcome you all to my channel too. I'm new to the YouTube uh, scene with these videos and uh, I did pick up some uh, I've been I picked up a 177 Crossman shockwave air rifle 1200 feet per second and I've been trying out some different pellets and I did pick up some of these the Gamo rockets and uh, they're a little bit heavier grain these are 9.6 compared to the 7.8 that the uh, red tips are and I did do an uh, earlier video with the red tips and some just uh, standard Crossman Imperial pellets. And you can watch that, but I'm also going to be putting up another video soon with these rockets to show how they perform. They do have a little more punch. Uh, they, they hit with a higher impact. But I'm also finding the accuracy of them still, the red, uh, the red fire, Gamma red fire which the red tips on them seem to be the best for my gun so far. But anyways, let's get to the building a bag. To make a homemade shooting bag, you're going to need a bag of probably white navy beans or dried lentils or anything like that. Something that's going to make a bean bag. And I took an old pair of jeans, I cut the leg off. Which is going to be the bag. I like to use jean material as a heavy material. It'll wear longer and um, be more durable. Fortunately, I have a fairly heavy needle, but I'm sure any sewing needle will do. I've got some heavy, this is actually crochet yarn or thread I'm going to use for the thread because I want it to be strong to hold the bean bag in place. The, but those are the items you will need to make a homemade egg. Now I've cut the pant leg off and Mary's actually helping me here and she's doing the stitching and uh, if I can get her to continue stitching but the pant leg I've turned it inside out to do the first stitching to make the bag. This is just the first one. We'll do a, a stitch wrap over top after this. Now we've started the second stitch as you can see. I uh, hope that's focusing okay. But we're going like looping over the top. And here we'll let Mary do some. I'm sure if you have a sewing machine you can do this on your sewing machine too. And 
And remember, this is the inside of the bag right now, so you're not going to see any of this when it's complete. Now, the pan leg was a little bit wide, so we've taken it here. You can see Mary's holding up. She's folded it. We've stitched it. This is all going to be the inside of the bag. This is going to get turned inside out. The bean bag, I have slid in there. I left this in in a plastic container for a reason. I just figure it will help uh, if I'm outside and it starts raining or anything. It's going to help keep the beans um, dry. But what I did is I did take a, the pin or the needle and I poked a whole bunch of holes in this side of the bag to let the air out. So this is just the beans now. Like it can be formed, you can groove it, whatever. But that is going to go inside of the pant leg, but the pant leg was too wide. So we folded it. So it's tight around the bags, makes a tight bag for what we're looking for. Well, there you go. One bag of beans, a little bit of sewing, old pair of jeans, one bean tight bag, one shooting rest. Depending on what you pay for your beans, cost about four bucks. And I make these because you go to one of the stores and pay a hundred dollars for a few bean bags to rest my gun on to shoot. I just don't understand it. But there you go. Quick and simple way to make your own bean bag.